When a lot of people think of bicycle touring, they think how amazing it is to be cycling on lonely back roads like these on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, of being happy even when you're cycling through a rainstorm. But sometimes things don't go to plan. Like when we entered Guatemala, we were detained by a group of locals who were protesting against the government. So join us as the journey continues through Belize and into northern Guatemala. On the last episode, we cycled the beaches and back roads of Yucatan Peninsula before diving a couple of cenotes. South of Tulum is the little known and little visited Sian Khan Biosphere Reserve. We decided to follow a couple of the lonely back roads through the jungle. So it's still a couple more hours till it gets dark, but we're kind of in the middle of the, the rainforesty sort of place here and we just found a nice little flat spot, an old like gravel pit. And uh, we'll go and make camp early, I think. <coughs> Definitely make camp early. The recent rains had left the trails a little bit wet and a little bit muddy. But it wasn't long till we got onto the nice sealed highways for our last couple of days in Mexico. It was time to say goodbye to Mexico and head into Belize. So this is Belize. We are going to try when we're in Belize to hit back roads as much as we can. We're going to try and find a little bit of wildlife, but this stupid guy right here when he went through the border, they said, how long are you going to be here? And I kind of said five to seven days. So they only gave me like seven days to get through the country. So we cannot do much exploring. This is how the ferry works in Belize. Yeah, yeah gotta speak, gotta speak. One, one ice cream will get you to the other side. Or paleta, yeah? Paleta. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if that storm, if those clouds behind you come anywhere near us, we might be in trouble. Well, I think that this cloud over there just much uh, darker than this one. You think? Uh huh. I think you're right. Just turn around and look back. Yeah, I think either way, we're in trouble. Right, made it to camp in Belize, and this sort of campsite is typical of the sort of places that I love to stay. I mean, it's a gravel pit, it's the sort of thing where they've come and done some road work, and. It's with me. Thank you. When you're in Belize, you just pack up your house and throw it on the back of the truck and move somewhere else. Recycling at its best. We're cycling through all these like sugarcane plantations. So there's probably lots of sugar and lots of rum in Belize. <laughs> We pulled 
probably know a place called Crooked Tree, which was supposed to be really great for bird watching. What do you think? Think we can make it? Yeah, we have to. But unseasonably high rain left most of the birds and most of the wildlife dispersed and very difficult to find. I've never seen anything like this. All these ants are all coming like craziness. We tried to explore the island but spent most of our time just eating and relaxing. Until eventually the rain stopped and we got back on the road again. This is Belize Zoo and as usual when we travel we're kind of the first ones in here this morning. Just us and the noisy birds. <laughs> One thing is you're actually really really close to the to this guy. I mean really close. Look at the size of those feet. What I like about this place, like you're really close to the animals, like really close. I mean, stick your finger in, you're going to lose a finger. I guess do that in a lot of places in the world and someone's going to sue the zoo for being irresponsible. Don't worry about if the human was irresponsible. I like zoos like this. He would make a big handbag. A big snapping handbag. And some shoes. <laughs> you had some huge mosquito bites on the side of your head. Yeah, great. Mosquitoes. Tapir saliva over everything. We really didn't spend enough time in Belize to really get a good look at the country. There were just so many more places to explore. We were excited and happy when we crossed over into northern Guatemala. Even the rain wasn't enough to dampen our spirits. But it wasn't long before the locals closed the road and they refused to let us through. They were not aggressive in any way, but it was very clear we were not allowed to get through until they let us through. For over an hour, we took shelter from the rain with the locals. Eventually, they took pity on these poor, helpless cyclists and let us go. This is the campground at Tikal. You gotta love the serenity with the generator going in the background there. And we've set up the tents and bicycles are tied up next to the poles just over behind me there and um, there's two other bicycle tourists here but it's just about to get dark at sunset and I haven't met them yet I don't know where they're from or anything like that so 
<sighs> wonder how many animals we're going to see tonight. Actually, with a generator going? I don't know. Let's see. Hopefully we'll get a good night's sleep and get up nice and early tomorrow and go to the ruins. Good morning and welcome to Guatemala. After the few little dramas trying to get into the country with the roadblocks, we are now in Tikal. We got up before sunrise and it's just light enough for us to see where we're going. And judging by the amount of vehicles in the car park, we are completely alone in Tikal, one of the, the greatest ruins that I think there are in uh, Central America. This is the main plaza, the grand plaza in Tikal, and I, my question is, where is everybody? Literally, we are the only people here. Usually there's like thousands of people here. It's very eerie. Just us and the birds. I can hardly even see it, but there's one of the biggest pyramids here in Tikal. What a miserable day. What's going on? It's just the first time that we see the monkeys in the middle. Ah. Jumping from tree to tree. Right now. They're pretty fast. They're the spider monkeys. They're not yeah. those really loud ones, Maybe the howler watch monkeys. All the, the monkeys on all the right. trees. I think it's going to be really hard to see because it's so like foggy and cloudy. One of the best views in Guatemala right here. Just... Not today. Not today. Oh well. It's cloudy and just starting to rain, so... Time for us to go and head back down, I think, with no view. Mm. Oh well. Things like that happen, right? The weather here is just absolutely pouring down and we're stuck here underneath a little shelter and it doesn't look like it's going to stop. It's already been going for what, 45 minutes? Yeah, at least. At least 45 minutes and oh well, you get days like this. If you like the episode, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because on the next episode we head to the remote Mayan villages, climb some ridiculous mountains and eventually end up in a tropical paradise called Samak Champay.